my name is Patrick, I'm 29, and I'm from Manitowoc. I started when I was pretty young, um, 11 almost, I think. I started smoking because my whole family smoked, everyone around me smoked, and my grandma actually told me one day that she preferred that I smoked over doing other things, so she would buy me cigarettes, uh, Benson and Hedges, the worst cigarettes on the planet. She'd buy me cigarettes so that, almost like a harm reduction for going out and doing other bad things. I was actually kind of cool because I could go home and get cigarettes for everybody, all my friends and stuff, so I was just, right off the bat, it was full blown. I'm definitely at a pack a day now. I think almost my entire life is part of my recovery, and it's a constant look at what I can do better. Um, and how I can improve my life, where I'm looking at it and like this isn't part of who I want to be in the future. I think that's what recovery is. 24 hours a day, you're looking at yourself, how can I better this moment? I, I don't need it to socialize. I don't need it to have a cup of coffee. I don't need it to talk to people. I've just moved beyond it. I don't, I don't think it's a need in my life. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm ready to move on. When nine out of 10 people that I'm around uh, will go out regularly for a cigarette or invite me for a cigarette or things like that. It's difficult. I would say, I mean, I'm in recovery. I would say quitting smoking is almost as hard, if not more difficult than it was to quit drugs. Being in recovery, you learn some things like play the tape forward. So every time I would have a like insane craving, I would go, is this cigarette worth it? I'm going to buy a pack an hour after I smoke the first cigarette. Like I would play what's going to happen if I go and have this one cigarette, uh, and is it worth it? Be committed to it, and just like in recovery, if it doesn't work, just you gotta keep trying, because I think your chances multiply every time you keep trying.